guys welcome back to another another video now today's video it's not in a woodland area where we currently are i'm headed to the coast i've got a tent today i'm going to go for the fox 2 version 2 which i'm really excited about uh, it's going to be a good one the weather's pretty good it's a bit windy but it is february i'll uh, take what i can get now this particular woodland area that i am in it's um, steeped with quite a lot of uh, spooky stories um, mostly around something that died here uh, now i'm not going to go into it too much because this is going to be the scene of a future wild camp this area behind me go in a little bit there is an exact location where this thing died and uh, i can't wait to give that a go i'm all down for spook bit spookiness so anyway better press on because i need to get to the coast and it's a little bit of a stomp from here so let's hope it's a good one hey eh? see you down there Hey guys, right, I've got I've got to where I want to be. It's a place called Niarville Bay on the west coast of the island. It's still quite windy at the moment. It's due to drop a little bit. Uh, but I am gonna have to have a deco around to try and find somewhere to camp because I haven't actually got a spot yet. So let's do it. So this cottage is actually uh, from a movie scene. Um, it's where the film's called uh, Waking Ned. It's from the 90s, and this was, this was his house. Uh, there is a scene where he comes down here with his top off, riding a motorbike. Some shape on the lads. Anyway, this bit here, this, this hill, is the other side of that is where I'm going to uh, pitch up. I've had a little deco and uh, found a spot, so let's get to it, shall we? Right guys, found my spot for the night. It's going to be a belter, uh, but I am going to have to be semi-stealthy because uh, there is a, like a guest function area up here. Um, okay, so just to orientate you, right, up here, that's the forest area I was in before uh, where the Moddy Doo died. Uh, down there is where the cottage area is, uh, where I, and I've walked up this hill and uh, my bag, let's walk, let's walk and talk. Woo. Okay, so, spot I'm thinking, nice and flat. There's uh, this area here, looks perfect. Uh, I mean, look at that, that's gonna be my view. Uh, I am hopeful of a, a good sunset. Uh, the clouds are starting to make a bit of an appearance, but let's get this Fox 2 out for the first time and uh, bang it up down there, stand by for that. got an inner and an outer uh, the only problem you might have is that you have to put the inner up first so if it's absolutely pissing it down you need to be quick okay so here let's have a little walk around so you can see it just flip that around okay so there she is 
really quite high quality actually. I love these little tensioners, Garland, they're really good. I mean, if we're talking about stealth, which I'm all about, orange, orange guy lines are going to have to go. I don't know why OEX do that. Um, there we go. Made in the UK, Fox 2 version 2. If anyone in the comments can actually tell me what's the difference between the Fox 2 version 1 and version 2, I'd love to know. Uh, I think it's just the pegs and the uh, uh, lightweight rods. But I don't know. Well, let's go inside, shall we? Show you my sleep system for the evening. Uh, let's just appreciate the view for a second. That is my living room right now. Fuck. Mega, mega impressed with this. Okay. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so the Fox 2 has a door either side. So that's going to be quite handy. And um, we've got a little pouch at the back for storage. Uh, you've got vents either side and you can prop the vents open which is really quite nice uh, look how soft this is really soft uh, so what my sleep system is tonight sleeping bag of choice is the oex ev400 i uh, use this in minus four uh, minus three on that cliffside bivy camp so i'll put a card to here if you've not seen it so it's pretty tested uh, Thermarest Neo Air X Therm. Uh, I only have the small one. Or, um, I used it for when I went bike packing. I didn't want to carry too much. Uh, that being said, I don't really ever get cold legs, so sorted. Chicology. Yeah, Chicology pillow. Really good, really good bit. And in here, just a little uh, little light for later. Better get some food on. Let's go for a little walk first though. Explore this cave. Just on my way into this cave. Just have a ski. I did have ideas of uh, making food in here, but I don't think so. When, let's have a look. Now that I'm in here. Ooh. It's pretty sketchy. It goes in a bit, like, use my phone as a torch to try and illuminate me in here, it's pretty, pretty dark. That's, um, that's the view looking out. Yeah, the adventurer in me wanted to, uh, wanted to consider cooking in here, but <laughs> the flies are everywhere. It's not even summer yet. I mean, this cave does go on and on. See, I could get right up in there. I'd love to know how far this goes. I bet it goes quite far, actually. See all the flies everywhere. I think in the summer I might consider coming back here and have a, having a proper, a proper little explore in this cave. So many caves on the island. I wonder, was this a smuggler's cave like the last one? I uh, did um, that last hammock beach camp I did. I found a cave there. Again, no shame promotion here, but if you haven't seen it, it's there on the card. Right, yeah, it's honking in here. There's no way I'm cooking in here, so uh, I'm going uh, to cast you back out. Uh, well, I still can. another cave over there as well but conditions inside are probably going to be the same so I'm pitched up here other side of this hiked in from over there as I've said before I mean just listen to the sound of the ocean there Beautiful. Right, let's get some food on. I'm heading back to uh, back to base. Get some food on.
Okay, so this is my uh, cook setup for the evening. Um, this, by the way, this is where I keep on my cook kit. And any avid people out there will know it's made from fire hose. Real good bit of kit. Okay, so what I'm going to use to cook tonight? Trangia. Got a little stand. Got this from AliExpress. Wind deflector. Um, obviously, got the juice to get the trangia going. Some local uh, burgers made from a uh, local butcher. Again, local cheese. And then later on, bread obviously, wholemeal wraps. Later on, I've got some uh, homemade flapjacks and rice, you know, cornflake cakes. And then this little beauty here, Wayfarer chocolate pudding. They are very, very good. And this is just the uh, pan from the Trangia, so pretty lightweight bit of uh, cooking tonight. Those who know me know I don't particularly enjoy watching people cook on YouTube. So I'll do my best. Look at that sunset. I'll do my best to sh be semi-inspired. Nice one. You can see which way the wind's blowing, can't you? So just while uh, while that's cooking away, thought I'd uh, spring up a couple of things. I hit a thousand subscribers from the last video, so thank you to each and every one of you who has subscribed. I get so many positive comments. Uh, I'm going to stick a few of the people up on the screen. Uh, sorry if I forget anyone. Uh, my brain like a sieve. Um, so many positive comments. I mean, you get a few neg negative ones as well, but you know, thin out. UK carry outdoors, some absolute oxygen thief decided to hack her account and delete it. So uh, I think she was like 6,000 subscribers or so. So show some support. I'll put Carrie's uh, YouTube link down below. All right, my burger's ready. I'm going to smash it. Didn't film me scoffing a burger. Didn't see the point. <laughs> Who wants to see that? No one. My own mother wouldn't want to see that. Just got uh, trying to get a time lapse at the moment of the sunset. Um, Shy talks, also known as seagulls, are doing airdrops as we speak. Obviously, they like the smell of my <coughs> they like the smell of my burger. A um, couple of things. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to go and put my wildlife camera out. I mean, I'll tidy that mess up. There's a. Uh, I don't know what's around here. To be honest, it's on the west of the island, um, so. We're not going to find the wallabies that I'm always after, but you know, there might be rabbits, I don't know. See what the wildlife camera brings out. Some of you might have noticed that my channel's name has changed. It used to be Matt Does Outdoors, uh, now it's uh, Islander Outdoors. Yeah, some um, less than desirable individual had a very similar account, and uh, yeah, there was a bit of confusion going on, so, so yeah, I didn't really want to. Uh, I just thought I'd change it. I was getting tagged in all sorts. So, yeah, Islander Outdoors is here to stay now. That's not changing. So I'm heading up around here. You can see, can you see there's uh, some people down there. The main footpaths here. There's a car park that drops down to the beach. Um, and then you get some hardcore people that might walk around here. So the question is, can those people see my camp? I feel I'm pretty hidden here. Um, I've got the, this hill here, which is uh, stopping me. Uh, I've got some more people, I don't know if you can see, up there, looking down on me. So I don't think these people know there's a tent here, which is pretty handy. Look at that view. Look at that view. But they can definitely see me standing here. Anyway, it's not unusual. You've got sunsets like that. so. I'm gonna go up there where those people were. I'm just gonna see what they can see. All right, so this is it. This is where all the walkers have been. This is a sort of area. They've been standing looking towards me. Can you see me?
Okay, so my tent is here. I feel it blends in pretty well. I feel our stealth mode is on there. Quite happy with that. Yeah. Look at that view. I mean, as far as views from a tent go, I'm pretty stoked at this. Yeah, lovely. Wildlife camera. Just got it on a tripod. I'm just going to wear lots of birds in this area. I'm just going to put it sort of down this area and leave it on. See what happens. We'll come back to it in the morning, won't we? I'll put a link to this one in the description because I did look long and hard for a decent wildlife camera that didn't break the bank. Uh, this is 20 megapixels. Um, it just does the job. It's got a little screen there for a uh, preview. No complaints. It doesn't have Wi-Fi transfer, but I don't mind. A little SD card transfer now and then. So, right, I'm going to deploy it. So, you can see me. If you look at that, hello. So this time I've uh, chucked a little bit of bread and that out. Probably all you're going to get to them bloody things, seagulls, but <sighs> got to be in it to win it, boy. Busted by a dog walker. Luckily, he was just intrigued. Loved a bit of camping. I uh, was more interested in, um, in the fact that Misses go out in their camper van, but he said he'd love to go in the tent, so might have inspired someone. I don't know why this is so foggy. Sorry about that. <laughs> right, welcome to the inside of the Fox 2. Uh, it's not too bad actually, quite impressed. A little light up there. Um, the sun's gone down. Uh, spent about 40 minutes just out trying to fiddle around with the cameras, trying to do night photography. Yeah, I'm still learning that, so a bit of work to be done there. That's about it. Wildlife cameras deployed. I've got to get uh, some of my damp clothes off, including my socks, do a quick swap out, and then I'll get into the uh, EV400. Uh, temperatures are about seven, eight degrees. It's not a cold one. So unless something eventful happens in the evening, I shall see you guys in the morning. And if you stuck around this far, thank you very much. Nice one. So this photo is from the wildlife camera. Looks a bit like an alien. Obviously it's not an alien, but could be a bird. What do you reckon? Comment below. Good morning. A bit more blustery today, a bit of wind on. Uh, uh, I have to say, for a 60 pound tent, absolutely no complaints. Uh, didn't rain, obviously, um, so can't quite attest to how good it is in the rain, but it's a windy spot here. Um, yeah, mega, really good bit of kit. OEX Fox 2, recommended. Conditions this morning, a bit more cloud in the sky. Um, pretty damn windy actually. Gotta make my way up there. So, I'm gonna pack up in a minute. Uh, one thing one thing I was on the lookout last night was, this whole area has uh, been known for having uh, quite a lot of uh, UFO sightings. Uh, now I'm, I'm on the fence, whether they exist or not, who knows. But ultimately, uh, a UFO might not be an alien. Um, and what, what I've uh, been reading up on last night was that uh, sort of late 60s through to like the, I don't know, the 80s maybe, uh, the, the Americans were flying their stealth bombers from America to uh, 
and landing on a runway in the west of Scotland, which would be over here somewhere. So, you know, maybe, you never know. Uh, obviously, I didn't see anything last night, so. <laughs> yeah, right, I'm gonna pack up. This Chicology pillow is so good. It's got a little uh, button in it. So if like me, you don't like it too inflated, you can just give it a little, get it to your uh, liking. Really good bit of kit. Falls down really compact and goes in a little bag. Pegs that come with it aren't bad. I, do, I prefer like, these little aluminium ones I bought from Amazon. Little tip, I like to put my wet outer in a separate dry bag so it doesn't uh, get the inner soaked. Um, just mold and all that shit, so yeah. Makes it easier to dry out, I'll throw it in the back of the van later and let it dry. Tell you what, camping's come a long way since I was a kid. In my day we Always very conscious about leaving stuff in the tent when you've packed it away. On my first ever wild camp, yeah. yeah, I got to my van and I couldn't find my keys. I'd left them in the bottom of my uh, inner from my tent, so schoolboy error. All right, that's what she looks like. It's quite a generous sized bag. Uh, like I say, good bit of kit uh, from Go Outdoors or Millets. I think it's called Millets. Yes. The site, the site is fully squared away. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, get my rucksack. Uh, come with me, I'll show you. We're going to go over the top here. All right, here we go, right up over me now. Just before I forget, I'd like to give Dragon Outdoors a bit of a shout up because uh, in the middle of the night, when I needed to go for a piss, your tip about bringing a bottle with you, absolute winner, because as you can imagine, the shit hit the fan. I don't want to be falling down here. So, that little cave down there is where I'm going to head down, flash up the jet boil, and then, uh, yeah, let's get a coffee in, so. So yeah, cave coffee coming up. Jet boil, coffee, and their uh, breakfast. Just a banana. One thing I really like with the jet boil is uh, this turns orange when it's boiling. Hello. Got to be quite quick here, to be fair, because uh, the tide's on its way in, and uh, basically. If the tide rips in, it goes all the way up to that little slipway there. So I'd be up to my uh, nuts walking out of here. What? Pretty special view. So once again, up there, the other side of that is where I camped. Uh, I've already got my next wild camp planned. Yeah. I've got myself a DD Nest multicam hammock. So real cool, stealthy bit of kit. So I'm looking forward to uh, getting into a woodland area and uh, just seeing how far I can push the stealth with that thing, so stay tuned for that.
Well, I think it's time to wrap my tits in and get out of here. Oh. Hope you've enjoyed that adventure today, guys. Just a one-nighter, really enjoyed it. Like you say, this was the place I came from my very first wild camp and had to bail, so uh, thank you. And uh, stay tuned for that next wild camp with a hammock. As always, take it easy.